You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Black and White Sports fans, we're going to be talking about college football. The Northwestern Iowa game happened this uh, Saturday. But we're not going to be talking about the football team. However, we will be addressing what happened on the football field. Because what happened on the football field was a protest before the game. It delayed the football game because woke students who probably do not enjoy sports whatsoever because we know the, that the woke mob is really not sports fans at all. They're activists and that's pretty much what they are. They stormed onto the football field, folks, and they were holding signs calling for uh, the abolishment of their own police department on campus. Think of that, guys. And investing in black lives. This is utterly ridiculous. And there is a video clip that we will play. We're not going to play with the sound because there's actually uh, music. It's outcast plan. Do not want to get uh, copyrighted. OK, so let's go ahead. Let's dive into this. This is on the spun. Look, a student protest delayed Saturday night's Northwestern Iowa game. Protesters halted Saturday's Saturday night's Bit 10 clash between Northwestern and Iowa. Several protesters stormed onto the field at Ryan Field in the first half of the Iowa Northwestern game. The protesters appeared to be drawing awareness to a number of issues. One sign referenced, quote, the war on Palestine. Another one called for the police department in Everson, Illinois, to be abolished. The protest lasted about five minutes before police escorted them off the field. Play was resumed after about a five minute delay. And here is the uh, the video. We're going to play that just in a second here. But in case when I don't play the uh, video, you can see right here on the left, it says abolish NU uh, PD invest in black lives. Um, Board of Trustees, meet us now. And I really can't see what that other uh, sign says. So let's go ahead. Let's play this clip here. I'm going to blow it up. I will have the sound muted here. It's about 45 seconds. So let's go ahead. Let's do this, guys. And I'll break it down. It may have actually um, been more action than on the field. You see there, uh, stop fun, stop funding war on Palestine. I still dives, dives now, divest now, I think. And this sign over here on the left, on my left here. This is a sign here. Yeah. Abolish NUPD invest in black lives. These activists are not sports fans. They just want to ruin everything about sports. Keep your politics out of, out of this. OK. When will these people learn any of this? These people are just complete activists, complete activists. They have no desire for sports whatsoever, but they were escorted off the field. This is utterly ridiculous, folks. But it says here during the protest, an Iowa fan reportedly ran onto the field to try and rip the signs held by the protesters. It's unclear if the individual was successful in the attempt. Regardless, a wild scene unfolded at Ryan Field on Saturday night. Uh, it says here on another tweet. Northwestern University students are protesting the Northwestern Police Department on the field. Now an Iowa fan is running on the field trying to rip the banners. Crazy stuff at Iowa field. And I still can't see. At least on this uh, picture here where um, an Iowa student is actually running on the field. I don't see that at all. Not on that picture. Uh, it says here this isn't the first and won't be the last attempt. A protest halts play during a college football game. A Harvard-Yale game back in 2019 was delayed for 48 minutes because of a protest. Luckily, Saturday night's Iowa-Northwestern game delay lasted just five minutes. It'll be interesting to hear what Pat Fitzpatrick and Kurt uh, Ferentz have to say about the protests after the game. Well, I just found out about this uh, last night before I went to bed. If not, I would have actually uh, made a video on this. But man, this is just crazy, man. Woke activists coming and trying to ruin sports. I'm surprised we haven't actually seen more of this because these college campuses now, they have been so indoctrinated with leftist ideology. I'm just shocked we don't actually see more of this. But guess what? I'm pretty sure this will go nowhere. Absolutely nowhere. People go to games, not for politics. 
They go for sports. They really, really do go for sports. And when you when you're calling for abolishment of the police, I suggest uh, that these activists look at the elections. Minnesota, Minneapolis, the place where they defunded their police department. Guess what? The people in Minneapolis voted overwhelmingly to keep their police department. This is ridiculous, folks. These people are going to learn. They really got, are going to have to learn, and they may end up learning the hard way. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to Black and White Sports, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.